Hey there YouTube, Merrick Pye here. So today I wanted to try and challenge myself to make some a very complex redstone circuit, but keep it compact. Um, if you've ever seen any of my videos before, I whenever I try to make something, I really don't care whether or not it is um, uh, wide and expansive, because I'm just trying to figure it out, as opposed to trying to make it um, commercially available, I guess. I mean, I'm not trying to sell this stuff, but that's the best word I can think of um, to describe wanting to make it compact. Um, so, what I decided to try my project for doing this was, I saw a couple people, um, let's see, Barrick Cook at the Red Zone Development Foundation, and S.E. Joyner, or Steven from the, his, a very, the very popular Minecraft YouTube uh, channel, um, as well as somebody that uh, Captain Sparkles highlighted in one of his um, YouTube videos, make some sort of ticker tape, or ticker tape, uh, or scrolling marquee, or just a random ASCII display. But whenever I, whenever they'd start showing the innards of what's going on, whenever they would try to, excuse me, say change a character, what they would end up having to do is fly through their circuitry um, and manually move torches to change the way that a character is displayed. And I don't... To me, uh, that's not really user-friendly. Uh, somebody else who perhaps doesn't really know anything about Redstone wouldn't be able to walk into there and understand what to do. Um, they'd have to do a lot of reading to figure it out. So I wanted to try and make something a little more user-friendly and just sort of a one-stop shop to change characters within your display. Um, yeah, just to change characters within your display. So this is what I came up with. Here's the front panel, and here are the innards. Yes, very compact, but still very complicated, which is what I was going for. Um, Right now, I only have it set up for four different ASCII characters. Well, I shouldn't say ASCII characters, four different any characters. Um, I have a 5x5 five five pixel display, which means I have a 25-bit memory unit for each of these four things right here. Um, right now, I have it, I sort of wired it incorrectly so that it's going to be displaying something opposite of what I put into there. But, again, not that huge of a deal if I just want to actually get this displaying to some, to a pixel display, I can just make the necessary flip at that point. So, I'm going to show you it working, and I'm going to show you all the features I have in it right now. Um, this is how somebody inputs a piece, of inf a piece of information into one of these four displays. Say I wanted to write into a specific one of these character memory units. So I've got one, two, three, four, so I have different things for each of these. Um, so say I wanted to write into character one, character memory unit one, I go ahead and flip that switch, I come over to here, and I write whatever I want to write. So say I wanted to make a, uh, let's say I'm trying to make a computer, so I wanted to make a plus sign. So I go ahead and flip the necessary switches, that it make a plus sign. So I got that in right here. Next thing I do, if whenever I see that I have this the way I want, I press this button and it sends its info into here. Okay? Pretty simple as far as the user interface goes. Say I wanted to also write it into the fourth ASCII character display or memory unit I should say. All I gotta do is now flick the fourth one, press the button again, and there it is on number four. See, it goes right there. Um, let's see. So, say, you know what, I don't really want to do that. I don't want that on number four. All I gotta do, it says clear number four, I just press the button, 
Go check down. Hey, the fourth memory unit is cleared. So I come back here. So I've already made the plus sign. Now I just need to make. Now I need to make the minus sign. So there we go. It's just that one row. Press this. Oh, I forgot to actually tell it which one I wanted to go into. So if you ever do that, nothing happens, which is exactly what should be happening. It doesn't know where it needs to send this information to, so it just lets the info dissipate. So, I'll put the minus sign in number two. Press this, go back and check. There's the minus sign, it's in number two. So let me go ahead and finish this off with the division symbol. I'll put that in number three. I'm not going to go ahead and check because I'm confident enough that it's going that it worked. So now, finish off with the multiplication symbol. Uh, does that look right? Yep. Now I just need to change from number three to number four, and I press it in. So there we go. I got the plus sign, I got the minus sign, I got the division symbol, and I got the multiplication symbol. Um, some features that I don't have in here, um, I can't just overwrite th a specific uh, memory character memory unit. Um, I have to actually clear it before I go into it again, before I can send any new information in again. Uh, just It's just the way that I designed it. I could have maybe put some pulse that sends a clear into into that memory unit whenever I tell it to write but what if I was say I, what if I wanted to change number four to something else or something else um, and then I accidentally hit number three well if I had that um, if I had that feature in the feature that I was talking about in where whenever I switch it, it automatically resets, well then the number three would automatically have gotten reset and I would have had to remember, hey, what did I have for number three before? Um, so what am I going to do? Uh, I'm not going to go into exactly how this works, how I got this to be compact. If I get enough likes on the video, I might. Um, I am going to try to expand this to uh, eventually what I want to have happen is I want to have a a way to give walking, uh, to have a character walk in the direction that you are walking, like an actual uh, character, like the way that I'm envisioning it is I have sort of a link from Link to the Past, sort of whenever you press up he makes the walk up motion, whenever you press left he makes the left walk motion, uh, etc, etc. I w but he's just going to be standing in the middle, but he's going to run through a specific set of character displays. Uh, it's basically, it basically uh, just like frame, different frames. You can think of these, instead of character displays, different frames in a uh, animation cycle. Um, so, uh, keep checking back if you want to see updates on, the, on this. Um, for those who are wondering Hey, what's with the snake game? I'm still working on that. I just am still stuck at the last part that I'm stuck at. I have been trying to make uh to find out ways to fix the problem, but it's it's still rough going and uh still having still having a bit of trouble getting it to work correctly. So hopefully soon I'll have it. Um like I said, I am still working on it, so don't think I've abandoned it, but I do have other side projects that I'm trying to get going. Um, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep telling your friends, keep favoriting, um, and see you next time.